Hey guys, I wanted to show you something jaw-dropping brewing out here in the Northeast Atlantic Ocean. This is a Storm Dennis, as they're calling it in Europe. This is a monster historic storm that's starting to brew and develop here in the Northeast Atlantic coast, and it's causing a shakeup in our weather pattern across the earth. There's been a lot of these all of a sudden that have popped up as well. That's what we're gonna talk about. Before we begin, if you like daily forecast updates, extreme weather events like this, click the subscribe button below. We do these on the daily. Now look at this thing blow up. This has got a 915 millibar type of pressure, which is about second on record in terms of strongest storms here in the North Atlantic Ocean. Now, if you look at the waves here, look at the waves here. This is uh, pretty incredible. We're gonna turn on the waves. This is windy TV and you can examine this storm in much more detail. You can see the waves. Now, I'm gonna turn on the key here or show you, they are near, 50 feet in some areas so you imagine that that's like a tall tree now individual waves in some of these areas will peak at 100 feet or so that's the forecast so you can imagine a very very tall tree and that's how, how big your waves are going to get so that very very strong types of uh waves going on here now what we're going to do here is we're going to fast forward this into the future and see how this blows up and you can see it gets very close to Ireland. So some very, very tall waves out near Ireland, Iceland, as we get towards Sunday, that moves on shore. And then also Iceland and Greenland, this thing is going to uh, be a threat. Now I wanna show you something even more incredible and it's the winds. So we're gonna go back to around now and uh, we'll take a, I'll show you this zoomed in view here. This is going to be your winds right now. We've got winds near and off the surface at you know 70 miles an hour, 100 mile an hour gusts in some areas around the tight low pressure system here out in the North Atlantic. This is thing, it looks kind of like a giant hurricane. It's got hurricane force winds, but it's not a hurricane. Technically it's a low pressure that came off the coast and it is just massive, just a huge wall. So obviously do not fly or drive Obviously, you can't drive in water, but boat through this thing. This is pretty incredible. Now, watch this as this uh, tracks into parts of Greenland and Iceland here. You can see this blows up, but there's another low pressure system out here, and it's starting to merge with it. So this is called the Fujiwara effect, and you can see just chaos out here in the North Atlantic. There's two different low pressure systems now dancing around each other. So this is uh, this is around Friday and Saturday, and you can see they're just kind of spinning around out there. Now, I'm going to tell you how this is going to affect our weather pattern here in a second. Now, what we're going to do for that is look we're gonna look at this real quick and you can see the keys in more detail. This is uh, your uh, low pressure system. You can see it's a 936 millibar here on Friday. Uh, very, very low and it might even peak to a 915. Now, a, nine, a 24 millibar drop in 24 hours is classified as rapid cyclogenesis or bombogenesis. What this is essentially meaning is the low pressure is deepening. And when that happens, you get more flow that gets sucked into the system. You can think of it kind of like a whirlpool. So the lower that number goes, the stronger these low pressure systems get. And, and this is insane. I mean, we're talking, you know, 970 is pretty darn low, uh, but 936 and even 915 uh, that it's not picking up, pretty crazy. And you can see as we get towards Saturday, there's another low that develops over here, 928, 937. These things are dancing around each other. So there's multiple systems now kind of dancing around each other, and that's called the Fujiwara effect. They eventually merge and uh, then move east into Europe. Now it's a 950 by the time it comes to Monday, but still pretty incredible uh, with this type of system. Waves 100 feet, you know, uh, we're talking uh, 9. 13 being the record, it's going to be maxing out at 915. And again, bombogenesis. Now, what happened here is this low actually deepened, I believe, 48 millibars in 24 hours. So that that is a uh, two times the amount as a normal bombogenesis would, as they would call it on the news. Uh, we call it rapid cyclogenesis here. Whatever you want to call it, it is pretty incredible. Now, what's happening here is you got all of these high pressures, uh, this very strong high pressure kind of sitting out in the... Uh, uh, you know, uh, eastern and northern tier of the Atlantic Ocean. Then there's a lot of low activity up here in north. It's causing a very potent jet stream running from the U.S. into Europe. And if you look at this thing, the upper level dynamics, we're going to go to, uh, we'll go to the 200 millibar wind 
And uh, obviously you can see a very strong jet stream flowing, look at that right there, flowing from the coast of the US all the way out to about Europe. You can see this big nose and what this is doing, this is aiding several storm systems, like a train of these uh, very strong potent storm system in the Atlantic Ocean. That's also shutting off the activity kind of in the US, US of A and really slowing down the weather pattern out here. It's been very quiet this winter. A lot of the storm activity has been out here in the Atlantic uh, due to the Arctic oscillation here from this powerful jet stream. So it's kind of how it's uh, playing into our winter. And you can see as we move into next week, I mean, it kind of just another one next week. So, but the pattern may change as we head towards uh, mid to late February, but there you go again. So you know, lots of powerful low pressure systems into the Atlantic Ocean. Now, if we look at the actual uh, precipitation amounts, this is also pretty incredible. You can see the low right here in the North Atlantic, 936, and you can see the spiral tail. So you can imagine moisture getting sucked into this thing and wrapping around it, uh, very much like a spiral or a whirlpool. And you can see that precipitation, that lift, that moisture getting sucked into this like a black hole. This is uh, right now, and you can see when those isobars are really tightly packed like that, the pressure gradient strong, and so that usually means much stronger winds. So you're probably getting you know 50 to 100 knot winds back, 100 mile an hour winds back there. So very very strong. As you can see, this thing uh, moves into Iceland, slams into parts of Iceland and uh, Greenland. Uh, it's going to stay away from Europe for the most part. You're still going to get waves in Europe, uh, but as you can see, that second low here we got two different lows dancing around each other so there's moisture coming all the way from darn near mexico getting pulled up you can see precipitation pulled up through florida so florida will be impacted by this thing on saturday even though that the low pressure is all the way up near uh it would be uh, greenland so you can see this big front right here i mean you're talking a long area high pressure up behind it strong winds and cold temperatures behind this thing but a very long tail almost all the way down to mexico it's like from the equator to the poles almost i mean this thing is huge and you can see this getting wrapped in so another second surge right here getting wrapped in meanwhile some leftover moisture getting wrapped into that second one and so you got two different poles of moisture but these things will merge as we head towards saturday and sunday now it's a 919 so incredibly low pressure system the moisture starts to shear out when these things uh kind of uh, shear out they spread out so the moisture gets kind of spread out and it, it will eventually weaken here after sunday you can see that the pressure does go back up by the time it gets out to europe so it won't be a huge threat for europe but there will be a ton of rain to deal with and some uh waves i mean if you go out to europe here here it is here's your winds and uh as we get towards uh, uh let's say this would be Friday or so. You might get some uh, 60 mile an hour gusts out there. There's another one, 60 mile an hour gusts. This is off the deck a little bit. So uh, some definitely some windy conditions out there, but the main threat will be off to the northwest. There'll be plenty of rain in parts of Europe with this system. I mean, if you look at the uh, amounts here, uh, we'll turn on the amounts, total accumulated precip. We'll go out a few days here and you, know, you can see that the, the, the precipitation is just incredible here. Some areas receiving you know, 250 millimeters of uh, precipitation, so pretty incredible along the coasts. And then obviously that moves to the east and you get your high pressure systems. But you can see these highs just kind of sitting out here and then your lows are off to the north. So it's really causing a lot of boring weather here in the U.S. of A. So I just wanted to show you guys that pretty incredible. Click the subscribe button below. If you like forecasts and, and kind of analysis like this, share this with a friend. Hope you have a great day, and we'll see you soon.